uh, as a boon to agriculture in Florida? Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Um, a lot of the citrus nurseries are facing the uh, the blight of the uh, canker and all the other issues. Citrus greening, citrus greening. primarily. It's an opportunity for citrus to make a transition into other fields of agriculture, such as cannabis and hemp. Okay, so are you seeing interest from citrus growers? Yes, very regularly. And I, have, I have been since 2014. I've been in communication with a lot of citrus growers. Daniel, 100,000 people now are signed up on the list to access medical marijuana, and that's growing quickly. But what kind of a market are we really talking about? This is a state with a population of over 20 million people. And in our industry, for the 13 licenses in Florida, we're required to do every single step in that process. There's no break in the chain. We don't outsource, for example, processing. We don't outsource cultivation. We don't outsource the sale of dispensing of the product. And so we were awarded the original license out of the Northwest region. Darren and Grow Healthy are in Central Florida, as you know, but we both uh, have vertically integrated, are part of a vertically integrated company. Etc. But certainly here in Florida, they decided to do it that way. What is the logic of that, Darren? Uh, from a regulatory standpoint, and just to be clear, I did not make the rules, I just abide. I mean, I'm, I'm, does anyone know what the logic of it is? Give me, give me the argument for having vertical integration of yeah, the medical marijuana industry. I would industry. say that the Office of Medical Marijuana Use, formerly the Compassionate, uh, Compassionate Care Program, it's uh, an idea to keep control over the market, not in the sense of who has the licenses and who controls what happens, more so control over the product and knowing where that product goes happened in a number of states that I've seen over the years. You know, in Colorado, when I worked there for a number of years, you had the Green Mile, you had, uh, we call it Broadsterdam, which was Broadway, and all of the dispensaries were in one location. So it kind of created an environment where businesses felt uncomfortable because all the businesses surrounding them were medical marijuana treatment centers in Colorado. And I fear that can definitely be something that would occur here. Um, it creates an atmosphere just like if you had it an area that was only bars. Correct. Right. So I guess the thinking was that they didn't want dispensaries popping up near schools or near churches or in certain areas that, you know, popping up on every street corner. There are um, requirements in law. And here in the studio with us is Daniel Elias, president of Pharmacology University, a medical marijuana education program. Darren Potter is chief horticulture officer at Grow Healthy in Lake Wales. And from the studio of WFSU in Tallahassee, we have Kim Rivers. She's CEO of True Leave. So that's something that we, in our courses, we have uh, specific courses for doctors that we are trying to get them to learn about this type of new medication. And actually, we are getting certified by the board of doctors here in Florida. So when they take our courses, they will have continuing education credits for their yeah, so that is something that we do practice. We do have uh, representatives go to the doctor's office and understand that this is not small and pop, mom and pop business anymore. Um, that doesn't really exist in this space. It's certainly not in Florida. Um, this is a large investment, a maximum investment into a space to be successful because it's not really just the money that you invest in cultivation, right? It's the money that you invest in training in your people, in your processes. Um, extraction is extremely expensive to get into and then managing a dispensary, you have to know how to operate a business. So those are really important things. It's not just uh, making sandwiches in a sandwich shop and selling them to people. It's very different. And actually, they could lose the million dollars so easily. They will go find from their hands and they don't even know how. Set the vampire!